Hey guys, Greg here, Underground Graphics. Uh, today we're going to get into the Maverick. A few weeks ago, uh, I unveiled that we recently got a shot Maverick, uh, white one here in the background. Uh, one of the things we do in all of our vehicles is do lens tinting. Um, it's been popular for, at least with us, for the last 20 years. And um, I did order, we ordered ours with the headlight uh, black appearance package. So those already come with the black housings. So we're going to offer that tint kit um, to go over if you don't have that package. Um, we're going to offer this in, in two pieces. One's going to be just a slim piece for the top, kind of like a, an eyebrow, and then the other's going to be that full piece. In addition, we're going to have a small piece that runs in right along here, just a little strip there. This will be available as itself or as a full kit. So we're going to have a piece there for the rear taillight. This customer has already done the blackout um, housing for the rear, so we'll see how that turns out. He also already has that front bumper reflector, which we also have. So we're, again, we're going to offer that as a full kit and then as individual pieces. Most of the vinyl you see in this, it's probably either going to be a uh, Lux film, which is an air release, or an Oracle film, which we prefer that Oracle. It's a calendar film. But again, we've been using this for 20 years. Um, it's fantastic, very durable, um, and it doesn't have that hex pattern um, of those air channels that you get in that Lux. It is a little trickier to install, but on something like this, like I said, we're going to show you how to do it. All right, let's get started. As you see over here, uh, what you're gonna get with that package, um, these have already been cut down. These are those um, headlight eyelid um, eyeline pieces, um, but this is gonna be that full set. Um, headlight, headlight, and then there's those tops of those if you want them, um, or you can not, you know, not use them, totally up to you. There's that corner piece for that front bumper inside of that headlight, and that's that little insert for that tail light. So again, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. We will provide you a hard squeegee. We do recommend a soft edge on that to go over that vinyl. These are not going to come masked, so you got to make sure that you wrap that edge in a piece of microfiber if you'd like, or get a, a squeegee that does have that soft edge on it. Um, I've seen some use a piece of masking tape if you just want to put that over there so you don't just don't have that hard plastic edge on this film. This is somewhat self-healing, so if you do get some light surface scratches, it's all right with a heat gun. Just go over that. It'll take most, if not all, of that out. Um, additionally, we talk about that wet versus dry method. In most cases, this is always a wet install. Some of these we will do dry. Um, this big piece, absolutely wet. Um, and I have not installed this yet. Our installers did it, we, so we know they fit. So i got to make sure I get this right for you on camera. So this should be fun. Um, and again, something like this, you can do that wet, um, depending on the solution you use. Uh, just a couple drops of soap um, in with that 16 ounce bottle of water. This is a rapid tack solution. This will evaporate pretty quick. I'm likely not going to use that, but I'm going to go ahead and use that soap on here. All right, so let's get started. Um, I did get a picture of before, um, so you know what that looks like, but let's go ahead and get this going. Let's see, let's take some scissors, knife, squeegee, and soap and towel. Also, to prep this up, Again, we talk about that alcohol water mix. Um, really can just be, uh, I think it's 10% alcohol, 90% water. You can go a little bit more. Obviously, the more alcohol, the stronger that's going to be. But we just want to make sure all those bugs, everything is off of that. I have already prepped this one down. Um, and we are going to go ahead and just go ahead and get started on this. If you want to cut these out, you can, but since we're doing this wet, um, again, just that's going to be your friend, that water on there. And make sure your hands are clean with this too, because you will touch the inside of that just a bit in those corners. I'm going to go ahead and get that back side. So again, make sure the air is clean because this is going to lay on there. And this really just lays up bottom. We're going to go right to that edge. And the problem that we're not the problem, but the spot we're going to have some trouble with is this area right here. So we're going to begin. Remember to keep that side wet. And we're going to pull this over. You want to get this just as tight as you can to those edges right where you want it. mentioned the heat gun. You do want that heat gun on this. But that's really just to set it. Okay. 
Now, people ask about the legality of this. Um, I'll just say use it at your own risk. Um, it just depends where you are. Um, obviously, tinted lights have been around for a long time. Um, this will um, darken your light output just a little bit. It's really not too bad. Um, you know, we use it for the tail lights, but tail lights don't have that output of the heat and stuff like that that these do, uh, or these fronts do. See, I've got a lot of soap under there, but typically if you just use a little bit, this will start to stick immediately. But I do want to work that lower section first. And that's where you can kind of go over this, back this with the edges, so that water doesn't go back into those edges. Again, that heat's going to soften that up. So as we get like into this section here, let's get that to where we want it. And if you want full coverage, you really do have to get someone like myself to just get a, a large piece, take that out, wrap in the corner, stuff like this. Again, this is just something that's it's going to be quick and easy. I'm going to start to get that heat going and start working with that heat. And you can see those fingers just starting to disappear with that heat. This one a little bit. So the less soap you have in that water, the quicker it's going to stick. Again, this is a really soapy solution. This is the same solution we're using for window tint. So it is going to take a little bit longer, but as you can see, it looks as you start to work that out. If you watch our other videos, when we do the headlight tint or like the lens tinting, most of the time I do those dry. This is a really big piece. And like I said, this area here, I know is our trouble spot that first time we did this. So we wanted to make sure that we did this as easy as we could. And that's gonna be with the water and, and, so, and a heat gun. Um, we also use torches here. Again, don't recommend that if you haven't used that before, so we're going to go ahead and do the heat gun. You have a lot more control of the heat with that. And I think we've got everything. Like you get a little bit here on the edge, so we can heat that up. Just wrap that edge. If you go to take this off, make sure you warm that as well. Most of these lights now come with the UV coating um, to keep them from turning that yellowish color that you see so much. And if you just yank on this, stick it and yank it up, you're gonna pull that coating right off. So again, it is delicate. This isn't for everybody, but a lot of people like it, including us. Now we're gonna do that corner there. And it really is just kind of working that up, getting that soft.
as long as it stays wet, you can be pretty aggressive with it. And you do want to have that soft edge on that on that squeegee. So again, that microfiber will work. I think we should have some of these squeegees or something similar up on the site soon. You see, we just worked that right out. I want to get a little bit on that edge. Wrap around. That's going to kind of anchor that. For the most part, we didn't want that to be just the face of this. When you start to get around that edge, it could be too much or too little. So, right along that edge. In this case, you've got all that face of that out. And from here, you really can just wait for that water to evaporate, let it get some tack, and then you can go back and really seal these edges good. Let's go ahead and move along to the rest of those pieces. We've got a little piece there on the inside. All right, so we got that headlight on there. Um, again, that's still kind of setting. We did go back over that with a microfiber towel. Um, I forgot to do that eyelid first, so we're going to do that on the other light. But I want to go ahead and show you that little small piece there. This is that small strip that we've added. So again, this one, it's so small, we can do that dry. And that's essentially just lining up right on top of that and following that curve and that you can really just put on with your finger super easy just a little something um, you know this is a big protrusion uh, from there so you really can't get in there and wrap that whole piece but it does give a little bit more of that darkness to kind of fill in the rest of that gap and give a little bit of contrast on that light that there that's a super easy piece to do and that's over that reflector that's going to flash orange and let's go ahead and zip over here to this light here this one we have already pre-cut to shape you don't have to cut these to shape but i want to show you what that you know the area and where that goes and that's just going to be that top piece um, this can be done in color as well um, if you've got the i believe it's the um, limited lariat and up this this will be an LED strip, um, but we if you don't and you want to do this in color, we can black it out. We can do it in smoke. Just give us a call on what you want to do with that. But again, we're going to offer that as that tent piece, just to give it a little bit of contrast with that. And again, you probably could do this dry, but just to be safe, it's a small enough piece we can or small enough that we could do this. Slide it around and. Just make sure we're happy with that position. If you do these dry, you can remove them, but it is a little bit trickier. So okay, now we got a little bit of a slide. By the way, I apologize for that buzz of that heat gun. I forgot where that mic was. So again, that's just a subtle accent. Something we want to try. Take a quick snap of that and then we'll come back and we'll do those tail light sections. All right, so we've got both headlights on uh, for the customer and we're gonna go ahead and do, you know, he already had the reflectors done. I wanna give you just a quick tutorial how to do that. Super easy, that's basically just a peel and stick. Then we'll move towards the back. Um, but again, same process, make sure we get this clean wipe that down there's no road debris on that we just peeled that off wipe that down again i would just peel and stick this you don't need to use the solution on that this is small enough 
you just want to get it started at a corner. You know, kind of hold that tight so you're off of it. Get it matched up to a corner, match your other corner. And literally you can use your thumb, a finger, go back and forth and just work that out. If you get, and then use your squeegee and come back, there's going to there's gonna be the impression in there that you're going to see through that. This is designed to go just a little bit over the edge on this, so you can go back and heat it and tuck those edges. And that's you want to go back with that heat gun, just a light heat setting, warm that up. It'll soften those edges so you can get in there and you can tuck that side down. That's where you may want to use that hard edge of that. And it just softens, wraps right around that edge so it gets a good seal on there. And these are kind of loose fitting from the factory, so don't worry about it. it. Ain't going anywhere. And again, it's just light heat, just to get that soft. Get that heat gun away from my mic. So I still got moisture on the end of my squeegee, so it's still probably getting a little bit of that moisture in there. But these are super easy. This is probably the biggest impact that this has on this car. Anytime we have an orange reflector on a vehicle. Um, it's, once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's usually a standout piece that just, that to me, just attracts attention. Um, this does not hinder the light output. It still acts as a reflector. Um, so completely legal. Um, had no issues with that. Again, once we get this turned off, we're gonna go ahead and hit those lights and show you what this setup looks like. So that is with the headlights on, of course, your running lights on, the parking lights. He's got that three light combo there in the grill. And again, it's going to be your risk on that. We very rarely have had any issues with this. It's been a long time since we've seen it, but you do want to watch that. If this starts to dry up, take that off. If you've got high intensity lights on there, um, these do not have them, but you can trap heat in there. You can see that, that beam pattern hitting on this. So. This is purely an, aesth an aesthetic option, um, totally up to you. Again, ideally, you want to break those apart, paint those housings like they do from Ford on that original um, black appearance package. So now that we've got that done, I want to go ahead and get on the rear of that vehicle and show you how to get that last piece taken care of. All right, so now we're on that rear section. And again, this light customer has already pulled apart the housing, did the blackout mod. Um, just as it is on the Ford light uh, when you order that black appearance package. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit different. If this was not the blackout mod, you'd see this would be a chrome housing. This makes a lot, bit, much bigger difference on that housing, but I did want to take this opportunity since we're already doing his car to see what this is going to look like. So that's that area there. I don't know how well you can see that in that camera. Um, I would cut this out to shape just so you can get your alignment on that. And again, your option, if you want to do this dry or do this wet, I'm going to go ahead and just spritz a little bit of that soapy water on there just so I can kind of get a lineup on that. Um, we've done this twice on another one, and it is a little tricky. So you do want to make sure it's in place. You're really going to be focused on this area here, and then you can work that out and work that around, work that up. So let's go ahead and get that started. Again, next time we get one in that does have that clear lens, we will do another probably do another video, add it to this one, um, or just do another, just some photos of it. So you'll see what that really looks like. Again, I really just want that center section there, but I also don't want this to tack until I'm ready for it to. So I'm just making sure that's, that's already, there we go right around that red and you've got a little bit of leeway on that yeah. So you really want to get all of this in here first. And 
again with that squeegee being a little wet, this will make this a lot easier. And we can work out that water. And as we're going up, that water is going to want to come back in, so you may want to work that just to get that to stick. Coming down will be a little bit easier off the top. Once you get this rear section done, it will work around that side. I think when this is clear, it's a lot easier to do because you can really see where this is laying down. This black background on here, it's really difficult to see where that's laying. This is why I like that water. We just light and tack that. Now we can bring this back out. And I want to tack that center and really work out. Make sure all that moisture is out of there. So you got that wrinkle in there. That's where we're going to get a little bit of heat. Get a little pull go right around that bend. And you can give it a good stretch. Let's see what that does. Just that initial bend is the hard part. These corners. So once that's down, there's still a lot of moisture in here. Again, that'll come out. Again, that squeegee, that soft squeegee on there. Work all that out. So if you can see what I'm doing is I'm working those sides around. I want to try to get a flat surface as I hit this hit this bend.
Maybe with a little finesse, we just get that. We just got that. This may be trickier than that headlight. So again, this has got that recession in there, so it does make that tricky. Uh, but as you can see, just a little patience with that, working that. Use a little bit of water so you're not stuck in that spot. That will evaporate. You can get that out. And again, I wish this was all clear so we could really see what that looked like. But I just want to show you how that installs. We can go back with that heat, grab that edge. All right, that is it for that tail light. Um, like I said, that being clear would be a lot easier, that being a black housing. A little harder to get that lined up. I think that gives you a good idea though on how that lays. This actually was a little bit high. That could come down just a little bit. Um, again, I just can't see that line. Um, but yeah, a little bit of patience on that one. Um, again, I'm a big fan of those blacked out looks. Um, if you do want to do the full blackout tent, um, that again is something that would have to come into your local wrap installer and we do have that Lux film that will stretch right over that and you get that full black housing. And again, um, it's always a debate, is that legal or not? Is it dark enough? Uh, the Oracle films we've been using for 20 years, never been an issue. Lux is typically a little bit darker, um, kind of hit or miss on that. But, you know, these are things that we, that we do to our cars because we like it. So your choice and what you want to do with that. This one on the Maverick, I love just that center section being a little bit darker. Guys, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to give me a call. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, again, I can't say how happy we are with these Mavericks. Um, can't wait to start doing some full graphics kits, the rocker kits, some bedside kits. Um, if you guys got anything you want to see, let us know. We'd be happy to get something uh, done for you. And uh, again, give us a call, email. We're always around. Thank you.